Well, hello, folks. It seems to be a uh, it's going to be a part two video to the uh, rear end video. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of confusion about the uh, function of the crush sleeve and exactly how to set the preload on the pinion bearings. And uh, I have a pinion and a crush sleeve here, but I couldn't find the yoke and uh, couldn't find an old yoke to fit it in any. Uh, just one bearing race but I'm gonna try to explain it the best way I can where everybody can understand it uh, and here's a crush sleeve for this uh, particular rear end that I'm working on uh, not or I ain't really I ain't working on one I got this out of the junk pile out of an old scrap bucket I had now I think this is out of a 10 boat truck but I'm not real sure but irregardless, all of them with a crush sleeve are going to function basically the same. Alright, and this is what a crush sleeve looks like for this rear end. And the purpose in the crush sleeve is to, when you tighten the nut down with the yoke on there, and you, you're bearing, you, you, you got your bearing on the back of the pinion, and then you got your bearing cone which just don't fit but you got your bearing cone this sets in the housing like this and then you got another race in the housing and you got a bearing comes in from this way with the taper going that way but your crush sleeve goes in ahead of your bearing alright and then you got your bearing on and then the yoke and then when you tighten this nut down it crushed as you tighten this nut down and push the yoke on and take the slack out of the bearings it crushes this sleeve all right and this sleeves what maintains the preload on the bearings if you didn't have this sleeve then you, you couldn't set the preload all right when you tighten this down it crushes the sleeve and what you're doing is you're, you're taking all the slack out of the bearings where this can't move backward and forwards and then you're going just a little bit tighter in order to preload the bearings in the races alright and the, the high torque that people talk about the three to four to five hundred foot pounds that it takes to crush this sleeve that's depending on what kind of sleeve it is and how hard it is to crush it could be anywhere from 200 I've heard up to 500 two three five hundred foot pounds it takes a lot of force to crush the sleeve but the amount of force is not important that you, you don't have to measure the force you just pull it as hard as you can until you crush start the sleeve to crush and then start taking the slack out of the batteries I mean the slack out of the races out of the bearings Alright, you, you, once you get it, once you bring all the slack out of the bearings, then what you're trying to do is get whatever the specification for your rear end is, you're trying to get that 10 to 15 inch pounds of rotational force. Alright, and that, that, what you're talking about then is the amount of force that it takes to rotate the pinion in the bearings. You want in other words, you want the rear end, you want the pinion freewheeling inside the bearings. It's the amount of force it takes to turn this pinion, like I said, in the bearings. Alright, so, but when you tightening this nut down in order to crush the sleeve, you've got to uh, pin the rear end down somehow or another where it won't turn. Or you can try to do it with an impact wrench. Now a lot of people say that you shouldn't do it with an impact wrench, but whatever technique works to crush this sleeve. Now it's possible to do it with an impact wrench, you just got to be careful and don't over tighten it. Because once you over tighten it, then you got to get a new sleeve because it, it's crushed it down to the point where you can't get the right spec on your uh, bearing preload. But in order to set the bearing preload, need a little dial wrench like this and you put it you well this is a 3 h drive you probably have to use an adapter to get up to a socket big enough and you put it right here on this nut 
and with with no load on the rear end you don't even you you won't even have the it's best not to even have the differential in it uh, you pull this wrench and you can read the read on the dial what the inch pounds is all right but if you don't have a wrench like this you can put a bar through the yoke and fasten it down where it can't move and then come exactly 12 inches from the center of the pinion and hook a fish scale on it and pull with that fish scale and get a pretty accurate read but most people I know that set up a lot of rear ends they can they've done enough of them they can pretty well just turn it with their hand and feel you know how much it needs but basically what you're doing is you're preloading the bearings all right? it's just like when you put a wheel bearing on or something like a front wheel bearing on a regular spindle when you tighten that spindle nut down you got to tighten it down enough to take all the slack out of the bearings and then go just a little piece further in order to preload those bearings so when they wear in they won't get loose and that's basically what you're going after but the crush sleeve this crush sleeve takes a lot of force to start it crushing and I have heard tell of some people uh, taking and putting it in a shop press and start it to crushing just a little bit you know where because once it starts crush it seems like once they start crushing then they'll, they'll go on ahead and crush down to where you need them all right but uh, you want if you try that route you want to be careful because once you over crush it then you got to go back and get another sleeve and start over but I hope this clears up some of the confusion with understanding how to set the pinion bearings um, if anybody has any questions just feel free to ask and I'll try to answer them the best way I can and like I said I couldn't find a complete set of bearings and a yoke and if I had a set of bearings and a yoke and everything right here, I could probably explain it a little bit better. But I think this should clear it up where everybody can understand what's going on. Uh, like I said, any questions, just ask. And, uh, rate, comment, subscribe.